Hey everyone, this is uh, Mr. Bonifaci. I'm going to go ahead and go over with you guys how to do some graphing of the um, of these different stars because it can be actually really challenging at first when you start off. So, a um, couple things just to kind of show off. So, one is if you click right here, like this is hardly worth it in the first one here, but you can skip to those. So, if I want to do group three stars, I can click down here and I can skip straight to group three stars if I want to do. Okay, and then I'll just click right there and I, I, I could skip straight down there. I don't know what does it take me there. Maybe I have to click percent first. Okay, oh, there it goes, it took a sec. Okay, so, and then you have to, then, then you can go um, back here with slide five and jump back to slide five after looking at those numbers and you can jump back and forth that way. Um, it might also be easier to have two separate screens open, having one on the left side with one set and one on the right side and just open it twice. You can decide whatever makes sense for you. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and sh start showing off group one stars and how to graph those. Um, there's also the analysis questions you have to answer. Basically, you're going to go through the thing in order. Okay. So the first star we have to graph is has a temperature of 5,800 K and a luminosity of one. So the first thing this is so is like, so if I took this as a, a star and you just drag it over and you notice there's plenty left over behind. Oop, that didn't work. Let's try again. Okay, come on. Oh, no, it did work. There we go. Okay. Um, so if you notice here, here's 5,000. So 5,800, right, should be over here to the right of it? No, no. You'll notice that with this run here, the numbers go backwards. And hopefully you already figured that out earlier. So it goes from like zero-ish on the right to up to around 45,000 on the left. So 5,800, this is 6,000. 5,800 will be something like this. Now, a luminosity of one. So I have to go up here and I drag this guy to 5,800 and a luminosity of one. Now, do you have the perfect? Absolutely not. Notice mine's a little above one. That's totally fine. I basically tell people commonly that if you get it in the right box, you're okay. It'll come out looking good. Okay. So it doesn't need to be the exact right spot. But if this one's supposed to be here and you have it down here, that's a problem. Okay. So we have one, a luminosity of one, 5,800, closer to 6,000 than it is to 5,000. We're great. Okay. Now, if you're going to forget where you where you are, you can always, of course, go in here and you could highlight the sun's name or the temperature or whatever it is and just click on highlight. And now I know I have that one done. OK, or if you can just manually keep track, that's fine. OK, so this next one here, I'm not actually uh, is five thousand eight hundred and one point five. So it's going to be basically the same thing. So you'll notice here five thousand eight hundred but instead of one, it'd be 1.5. But notice here, this is one and that's 10. So 1.5 will be basically the same spot, just a little bit higher up, a little bit higher up, okay? Maybe that'd be 1.5 right there, okay? Now that's probably actually closer to three, but again, in the same box is fine, okay? We are not being perfect. The deal is moving along at a decent pace, okay? So, now we're gonna go ahead and um, keep doing a few here. I'm just gonna highlight these just because that lets me know that how far I am. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna skip B. You, I'll let you do that one yourself later. And let's do this next one down here, um, 2,800 and 0, 0, 0, 0001, okay? So what I like to do, okay? So let's find 2,800 first. is that this is 3,000, 2,800 2, should be just before it, 2,800. And um, it has three zeros at between the decimal and the one, okay? So three zeros. So notice it gets challenging down here, okay? So now, now this has three total zeros, but there's only two zeros between the decimal and the one. So this is the one with three zeros and the one. Okay, so I drag it from here and I put it on this line and then I put it on this line, just something like that, where you'll see it's 
around where 2800 could be ish. And then you have the three zeros and the one. Notice there's a total of four, but only three zeros after the decimal, okay, after the decimal point. I'll go ahead and highlight this one because I am skipping around. Um, I want to be really clear about which ones I've done and which ones that you've done if you're copying this, which I would copy this, okay? So let's go ahead and take another decently challenging one. Um, okay, let's do this one right here. Land Landau two one one eight five. Okay, so thirty two hundred. Okay, let's see where that might be. So here's three thousand. Here's five thousand. So thirty two hundred should be just to the left of three thousand. Okay. Now uh, point zero zero five five. So again, the best way to go is count the zeros two zeros after the decimal. So two zeros after the decimal looks a lot like this one, 0 0.001, but this one is 0 0.0055. So a 0 0.005 will be halfway to the point up here, okay? So again, it, so it'll be 32, maybe right around there. Oh, oops. I'll do control Z and see if I can move this guy successfully this time. Um, 32 and two zeros. Now, why did I put it right here? Okay, so. Okay, so first 32, that part was probably pretty easy. Okay, so just past the three. Now, it is, again, as a review, the number was 0 0.0055. Okay, so. Now, in this way here, 0, 0.00 means it's bigger than 0 0.001. 0 0.005 is bigger than that, so, okay? But it's gonna be smaller than this one here, okay? Because this only has one zero. This has two zeros after the decimal. So the five is about halfway, so that's why I put it there. But remember, if you basically put it anywhere in this box, boom, you're good. It doesn't need to be perfect, okay? It just needs to be around the right spot, okay? So you'll notice that that's kind of the pattern we're going for here. Not perfect, but around the right spot. We don't want totally in the wrong corner because that's gonna really affect things. Okay, I'm gonna jump ahead and I'm gonna go find something really different here to graph just to give you some more help here. Um, let's do this one here, 14,000 and, and 200, 14,000 and 200. So if I go back to this page, Fourteen thousand would be bigger than ten thousand, but less than a hundred thousand. So it should be up here-ish. Oh wait, that's temperature, right? Fourteen thousand. Sorry, yeah, you have to make sure you get it right. I'm double check. I got that right. Fourteen thousand is the temperature. So easy to get confused. So that means it would be bigger than eleven thousand and less than twenty-five thousand. So yeah, be down here and two hundred. So here's one hundred. And there's 1,000, so it's going to be probably, if I moved it, 200 will be somewhere like in this box, okay? Because 14,000 will be somewhere right around there-ish. And 200 is probably closer to 100 than it is 1,000, so somewhere right around that box-ish, okay? I'll go ahead and highlight that one right here. So I know I did that one. Um, let's go choose something else that's uh, that's challenging maybe on this last one here. Um, let's do, um, hmm, these are bigger ones. Let's do this really big one here at the bottom. Let's do the last one. 25,000 and 2,500, okay? 25,000 and 2,500. So 25,000 is right here. 2,500 is probably, so this is 1,000 and this is 10,000. So it's probably closer to 1,000. So maybe here-ish. 
So 25,000 25, and then 2,500 is probably closer. Now you'll notice they go up by tens, 10, 10, 10, 10, gets bigger every time by 10. So the key is putting the dot around where you think it is the best match. We'll do one more um, that's small because I think the small ones are the hard ones um, are harder than the big ones, okay? Um, let's do one more and then I'll cut you guys loose for all the small ones yourself. Uh, let's do this one here, this one. Um, let's do this one, okay? Let's do Cigna A, okay? 4,200. So 4,200 would put it between 3,000 and 5,000, probably closer to the five, okay? Roman, 4,200. And then it's 0. 0.084. Now count the O's again, one O. You see that one O, okay? So the one O before the eight, okay? So what that means, again, it'd be right here, 4,200, okay? but one O would put it bigger than 0.01, okay? So 0.08 would be bigger than 0.01, okay? So in that way, I would go ahead and I drag the dot over. We said it would be somewhere around 4,200 and it's probably gonna be near the top of the box. And the reason why I put it near the top of the box is because it was, if you remember correctly, ah, no, go away. So um, if you go back down here, you'll see it is 0 0.084, so it's an eight. So an eight is near the top of the box because it's closer to, to 10, which is the next size up, okay? So in this way here, when I am doing this, um, I would put it near the top of the box now right here, yeah, this is where I, yeah, this is where I put it, okay. So hopefully that gave you a sense. Now the key is, again, doesn't need to be perfect, try it. Like the key is just try, like you're getting points for attempting, but you're starting to notice a pattern possibly, but you need to get all the different dots on. I probably got you a third of the way. So hopefully that, that helped. Um, thank you guys very much. Um, notice as you go through things, you will be, you'll get all the ones grafted and then you'll answer the questions based on the graph. And then after that, you'll go ahead and um, you go on into the next part, part two. Okay. And in part two here, you'll see that you have to go ahead and graph another five stars. You'll add them there and then you'll answer some questions. And then you'll finally do this last part here, which you're going to graph um, some more stars using a triangle. Okay. And then you add them there and then add, answer the questions. Okay. The one thing I'll say is after you get all those questions done, you'll see, and there's some good notes about this. That's um, we'll do the conclusion questions and all that on, on Monday. Okay. So this is how it looks like and you have what you have for the rest of the week. Okay. So um, hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to your teacher and we, we'd be delighted to help you. So um, thank you guys very much.